and welcome back to Law and Crime. We are following breaking news right now, which is just into the newsroom. We now know that they have a verdict in California. The jury has come to a verdict in the Hollywood Ripper trial. This verdict will be read at 2 p.m. Eastern time, so really any minute now, and we will, of course, bring you that here on Law and Crime the second we can. Meantime, let's take a closer look right now at the defense's closing arguments and break that down. Okay, so that was the last from the defense for their closing arguments, and we just learned that the jury is in the courtroom. As we said before, this verdict in the Hollywood Ripper trial should be coming out any minute now. We also learned that the defense made a motion for a mistrial just before this all happened, and that was denied by the judge. So joining me now, we have Sue Ann Robinson, criminal defense attorney, and Kirk Burkhalter, professor at New York Law School. Uh, Sue Ann, I'll come to you first. Is the defense making this motion for a mistrial, is that something that usually happens? Is that typical in this sort of case? Well, typically right before the jury goes to verdict, there's a motion for a directed verdict. Um, a mistrial, I'm not sure what would be happening at that stage unless it was something that happened in the state's closing arguments that they said facts that were improperly brought out by the state during their closing argument, or maybe they made an improper argument, and that's why they moved for mistrial. But typically, before the jury comes back, there's a motion for directive verdict where the defense basically says, hey, judge, there's no way that a reasonable jury could find for the state's case, that could find that the state met their burden. And that's typical before, you know, the jury comes back that the defense make that motion. It usually happens if there's some evidence that's come out that they didn't expect sometimes, you know, but there's no harm to the defense for asking for a directed verdict, so you ask for it every time. All right, Sue Ann, thank you. And I'm told right now that we have breaking news here that this verdict is in. We know now that Gargiulo was charged with these murders. Um, we're going to bring you that as soon as we have that. So stand by for that verdict as we get that here on Law and Crime. All right, welcome to Law and Crime. Breaking news right now in the Hollywood Ripper trial. We have a verdict and a jury has found Michael Gargiulo, the accused serial killer, guilty. He's been found guilty of attempted murder, which is in relation to Michelle Murphy, guilty of murder in the first degree of Michelle Bruno, guilty of murder in the first degree of Ashley Ellerin, and guilty of attempted escape. I'm going to bring in my guests right now, Sue Ann Robinson and Kirk Burkhalter, what are your immediate reactions, guys? Kirk? Well, I'm not surprised. You know, we spoke about this uh, a little bit earlier today. I'm not overly surprised. I thought the prosecution did an effective job. Uh, in the, the defense laid out a closing and tried to plant the seed of reasonable doubt in the minds of the jury, and the prosecution and rebuttal came right back and kind of trivialized it by saying this was the, the other guy did it defense. So I don't know if that ever really caught on with the jury. It just seemed that the prosecution's case was a little bit too strong here. All right, and Sue Ann, what about you? Yeah, I agree. I'm not very surprised. I think the defense was kind of a lack of evidence defense. Well, there's no DNA, which would ap appeal to the, kind of like the CSI watchers, like there's no DNA. But I think there's other physical evidence. There's circumstantial evidence. Obviously, in the jury instructions, the jury is told that they can consider the lack of evidence, but they're also allowed to consider um, circumstantial evidence, and I think there was enough to warrant a conviction. Right, and especially when we were talking about the other uh, alleged killing with the Chicago woman, mm -hmm. that was also brought into that. That was circumstantial. Obviously, it helped the prosecution build their case of having this repetition and this M.O., but this will now be interesting because he's getting, he's going back to trial for that after this now. Mm -hmm. So how do you think this verdict will play into that, uh, Sue Ann? I mean, it's possible that if he's eligible for life, you know, or eligible for death in this, I mean, to me, at this point, he, it's, it's, he doesn't gain anything by going to trial on the other case. You know, right. it's one of those things where he might as well. I mean, it's a waste of taxpayer time and everyone's time for him to do that if he knows he's guilty. But he has nothing to lose at this point once he's in sentencing penalty phase on this case. And when we talk about that trial, Kirk, does that mean that jury will not be able to uh, know about this verdict? Or how do they separate these things? Because obviously it's going to be tough. This is going to be in the news. Well, they're, they're, I guess uh, the uh, defense will attempt, but it'll be impossible. You know, here's some, the, he's the Hollywood Ripper, and, and he's been found guilty as a serial killer. Mm -hmm. So it would be impossible to find jurors that were not aware of this verdict. All right. Any other final thoughts on this? 
I just think some of the things that the defense admitted to earlier in terms of one of the victims kind of had a domino effect for the rest of the victims. Once you admitted to having that sort of interaction with one of the victims, it was just a domino effect for the jury. Kirk, anything you want to add? The thing that stays in my mind is the pictures of the victims, you know, that the prosecution made sure that the jury was inundated with those photos. And we talked about how they all looked alike and they were black and white photos and they're all the same age. And I think that really stuck with the jury in this case. All right, we will continue to follow this trial.